What's up guys, it's Rowdy here today. Uh, I wanted to show you guys something quick that helped me with my workflow. Um, I don't want to waste any of your time, I want to keep this short and simple, but I'm going to show you guys the fastest way of changing your brush opacity and your brush flow as well as your layer opacity and the layer fill. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, so we're inside Photoshop right now. I'm just going to select any image right here. Uh, let's go with something that I have previously opened. Let's go with this photo here. It's just a photo of my friend Justin when we went out shooting in Burlington. So the original way that most people would change the key value from their brush tool if they want to change the opacity and flow is that you would have to move your mouse all the way to the top. You can hover over the opacity sign uh, where it says opacity and you can just click and drag and it will change the key value of your opacity, same as the flow. But the fastest way of doing this is so simple. The numbers on your keyboard are pretty much your key value for your brush opacity and your brush flow, as well as your layer opacity and layers fill. And before, people would go, they would come here, they either click, double click the, the percentage and then they type in how much percent they want. And then you would draw in your effect or your paint here. And say you wanted to do some like more like shading and blending in, but with a softer tone, you would have to go back, stop what you're doing, go back, and then just change your opacity to like 50%. And then you would come back and you would start drawing again, right? But the fastest way that I learned um, was you literally just type in, you press in the numbers here. So we'll start back up here with the opacity at 100%. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, so we're at 100%, and then we're painting here. Now say I want to drop it down to 50%, I would just have to literally just press five on the keyboard. And as you can see there, it's at 50% now, right there. And I can do the same if I hit 60. If I hit seven, it would go to 70. Now that makes it so much easier. So literally, I could just paint over right now. Say I want to paint at 80%. Just paint, paint, paint. Uh, okay, I'm not really, uh, I think I may need to go lighter. Literally hit three and then go to 30% and just keep shading in. Instead of, instead of having to like stop what you're doing and then going back over and then changing the key value. So it's just wasting a lot more time. So the way you wanna change the flow, all you have to do is just hold shift and hit any of the numeric uh, values the numeric numbers on your keyboard and that would change the flow value instead of the opacity. If you want to just change the opacity then you just hit any of the numbers on top and it will just change it. Also if you just want to put a specific key value you can actually just type in the number that you want. So let's say we want to put 64% type in 64% and then you have it there. So let me just zoom in here. As you can see it's 64% opacity. I want to change it to 75, I'll just hit 75, and boom, simple as that. And if I want to change the flow to say 45, you just hold shift, 45, boom, it's already done. No need to like move your mouse away from the image while you're editing or painting on a, just, just in case you're masking or you're trying to do a layer paint or something like that, then there's no, no need for you to pull away the mouse or stop what you're doing to change the key value. So this comes in so convenient and it's so handy and it makes your workflow way more quicker and uh, this is something I just wanted to teach you guys real quick. For the layers tab, if you just want to change the opacity, the opacity and the fill of your layers tab, all you really have to do is just get out of your brush tool. So we'll just move it to the move tool right here and now if you can see at the top there's no, um, there's no opacity and flow on the top bar here that allows you to change your layer opacity and your fill. They'll so say we want to change layer one and you, it's the same thing. You hit any of the numeric key values on top and it will change the percentage of the opacity layer for, for you. So let's say we want to go to 50%, hit fit five. And as you can see right there, it's one to 50%. And if you want to go back to, like, to 70%, you hit seven, we got 70%. So my recommendation is to just type in all the key values or make it much easier so there's no confusion but it is if you're if you're trying to change the percentage from anything from 20 to like 80 percent you can hit any of the numbers it will just change the value 
by 10 times so but the same thing with the fill all you have to do is hold shift and if you want to go to 50 you just hit 5 and you can see that it changed the fill here we can go to 40 30 and that's it so something simple something quick I wanted to show you guys that if this helped any of you guys definitely uh, consider subscribing to the channel I will be posting more content like this trying to help you guys out there that are just learning Photoshop or just trying to like make your workflow faster and efficient so uh, yeah uh, but other than that thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one